you walk into the shop, one of the first things you see is my collection of old mid-2000s vintage woodworking magazines. I found these magazine racks at a supplier to doctor's offices, but I really like the way it looks and I like uh, having access to these magazines. Kind of cool. Just yet. This little pegboard here is all that's left of what used to be wall-to-wall -wall pegboard. I'm actually going to get rid of it too. I'd like to go to a French cleat system. I plan for this corner to be sort of an assembly area. It's where I'll have all of my clamps and eventually I'd like to build a nice big uh, assembly table, maybe a torsion box. That's definitely going to be a project on the channel coming up. You say you've been burned a few times now. If you're not new to the channel, you've probably seen this sink here before. My very first video was me building that shelf over it. There was a work sink down here before I started this renovation, but it was really in a bad spot for me. It was right along what I wanted to be my, my power tool wall. So I had to run all of the plumbing over to this new little nook that I created. And I really like it. We're just two lonely souls Meeting at a long romance Two lonely souls This workbench right here is easily the oldest fixture in the entire workshop. I, I bet I built it 20 years ago. I, I know I've moved it from at least one house. When I find homes for these tools in a new French cleat system, this bench is definitely headed for the fire pit. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the space. I really need to get back to work on insulating and, and soundproofing the ceiling. So hopefully a lot of the tools in these cases down here find a home in the new French cleat wall. Broken I sacrificed a little bit of ceiling height under this main soffit. I've got three and a half inches to put rock wool sound insulation in there. And that stuff is really expensive. I'm only using it around the ductwork since that's going to carry sound throughout the house if I don't. And this is the heart of the workshop. I'm really excited to build a new wider outfeed table that incorporates the router table in it. Honestly, I'm probably not going to do that until I replace my table saw. I don't know when I'm going to do that, but it's going to be a big project. This is my favorite spot in the whole workshop. It's where I do all my hand tool work. It's also where I do my sanding and, and just this is where I like to be. I've got sunlight coming in from the doors right behind me. That's pretty nice. I like it. Right outside these doors, I've got a small brick patio that I put together earlier this year, and a fire pit. Uh, during the summer, I love to just keep these doors wide open while I'm working. This is the Harbor Freight Dust Collector with its original 5 micron bag, which almost does nothing. I intend to replace it with a pleated filter. I decided to run the dust collection ductwork behind the drywall and put these evenly spaced ports along the wall. I know this locks me in and kind of limits my flexibility in the future, but honestly if I want to change my layout and that means I need to run some external ductwork, I've lost nothing. I've got this run over to the center of the workshop. Right now this is servicing the table saw, but eventually it needs to service the router table as well. Right now I've got the router table connected to my shop back, but it's completely ineffective. There's no enclosure around the router itself, and the suction is just awful. So that's a project that I might take on this weekend. So there we go, that wraps it up. Real quick tour of my shop. I really wanted to do that just to get it on film because uh, I, I hope that after the following year or so of work, this is going to be really kind of cool to look back at and say, man, look how far we've come. Um, we'll see. I've come a long way in 2020 alone. Uh, I've got a bunch of footage of what this space looked like before. I, I interspersed a little bit of it in the video that you just saw, but uh, 
it's it's pretty astounding where I've come and, and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep on trucking.